Welcome to the Casper Paranormal View. Uh, I just want everybody to uh, welcome our new guest tonight. Um, and new is uh, new to Casper uh, Paranormal View. We're going to be doing readings tonight. We're going to speak a little bit about an investigation that Angelo and I did, right? Yes, we did on the and, island. Um, yeah. Oh, do you? I'm already getting a phone call here. Wow. Um, yeah, we did an investigation uh, last week, correct? Last week, right, for an uh, elderly woman, German lady. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Sweet, very uh, sweet lady. Yeah, and, nice uh, family. You, you put her at ease, so we'll discuss that. We'll, we'll discuss that. We're going to have readings. Everybody can call in or uh, come down to Madhouse Studios and have your live reading uh, versus the dead readings that we had. That's what we do. Yeah. We do dead readings. Absolutely. <laughs> So um, let's, I, I just want to switch over. I want Anu to be able to tell us a little about herself uh, and exactly how long she's been doing this and what she actually does. So Anu, welcome. Hi, well, um, thank you. My name is Anu, and um, I've been studying astrology, numerology, and tarot for uh, a long time, over 30 years. Really? Does that make you, uh, so you've been doing it since you're one? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> she was born into it. <laughs> Actually, I really feel like I was. Good. Um, I feel like I came in knowing these, these kind of things. Um, the first time I ever heard the word zodiac back then, it wasn't horoscopes or astrology. I was fascinated, and I needed to find out everything I could about the subject, and I read as much as I could. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like everybody to figure out the first time they ever heard the word Zodiac. Because I cannot remember the first. I think it was on Batman. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. That it was, uh, it's probably Catwoman that said it. No, nah, it's not going to happen right now. But, um, yeah, so everybody think about, hey, when was the first time I heard the word Zodiac? And if you can come up with an answer, you'll get a prize from me. Um, so, so you do tarot card reading? Yes. Uh, numerology? Numerology. And what was that, the third? Uh, tarot, numerology, and astrology. Okay, so astrology means what? It's your birth sign. It's the time, place, and where you were born. And it's like taking a picture of the sky and reading the sky. Those influences influence you throughout your whole life. Okay. So I feel like, like Galileo when he looked first with the stars. Isn't that Bohemian Rhapsody? Uh, yeah, that? You like that, though. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> We're shaking our heads Galileo. here. Galileo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Does it go back to that, to that far? Astrology, Astrology goes back to the three magi. Um, that when, at a certain time, when a certain person was born, they were looking at the sky, and they knew that it was a very auspicious birth. That's the first oh. time I ever heard of it. Okay. The three magi All right, were then. astrologers. Okay, and the three magi were... Uh, the three kings. The three kings. Okay, not to be... Con okay, well, we'll just keep it at that. Four kings and you got four of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm playing, ready to play a poker game right now. I don't know about you guys. Um, yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going uh, to take some people that are here in the studio audience. Great. We're going to do some readings. Yes. Uh, but first I want to touch base on what we did the other night as far as um, somebody calling us up from, uh, from Long Island, Correct. right? Uh, Angelo, why don't you take that away and tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we uh, got a phone call. This lady was uh, in distress. Uh, she had seen something in the house, a shadow figure. And uh, she had looked us up, gave Chris a call, and uh, we immediately went down there. <clears throat> as soon as we entered the house, Chris had this feeling, he went right to the spot, and the girl looked at him, she's like, why are you going there? He goes, he goes, I was drawn to this area. She goes, that's funny, because that's the exact spot my mother saw the shadow figure. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it was a very, it was a very good, um, <clears throat> it, it was, it was kind of cool in a way, because the lady was uh, very proper. Yes. Very yeah. neat, well-dressed, very well-spoken. Well educated, also in her eighties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, she wasn't eighty; she was seventy-nine. 
dude, really, does it matter at this point? When you're 79, you're 82. You Astrology, really? I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, astrologically, it matters. When you're old, you're old. I mean, can really? Come on. Uh, no, but what happened is that um, she was very well-spoken. And when she wrote in my book at the end of the reading, and the in, end of the investigation, she wrote um, that she was um, very impressed of the way I presented the whole situation. And just the way she wrote it in the book, right. I thought it was very nice, you know. Yeah. By the way, we are going back there tomorrow night um, around 4.30 uh, to do a general house clean, cleaning. Cleansing? Uh, cleansing. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to vacuum. No, not like feel that. No dusting, vacuum. nothing. Nothing. Uh, because they feel that that's what they want. So we're going to go back and, and help them uh, feel a little bit more at ease than they are. Did we do something be before this? Did we do another one before that we wanted to talk about? I think we did, but I forgot about it. We do so I many. I don't right. We're getting old now. I got my glasses over here. You know. Um, actually, the when we went there, uh, wasn't really more towards her. You actually had brought up her father, right? And that's correct. she didn't know her father. Uh, she was like six years old when her father left for. Uh, he was in the service. Right. So she never really knew her father. And Chris had described him through the pictures that she had seen to a T. Exactly what he looked like, uh, what he was wearing, basically. And she just, she couldn't put two and two together because she never knew her father, oh, which wow. was kind of sad. Yeah. So he actually was trying to appear to her. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it was her father. Yeah. It, it clearly was. And... I, I said to her um, that he says that you're just like him, you know, and, and, and he was. He was a well-dressed man, um, and he was wearing a kind of a hat, you know, to go along with the outfit back in the day. Right. And it really did put the family at peace, but they just wanted to come back one more time, so we will be there tomorrow. Yes, we will. Um, do we have somebody that uh, in the audience now that wants to be read? Want to do them? Or do okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut to a commercial. We're going to uh, bring in the first guest that's to be read, and we'll be right back. Uh, see you in a minute. Hi, this is Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. Join me for my rock and solid gold holiday dance party, Saturday, December 1st, 8 p.m. at the Belmore Columbus Club, 2333 Belmore Avenue in Belmore, with the rock and sounds of the 50s through the 80s, starring the Accords, the Fabuliers, Third Edition, and DJ Ace playing all your rocking hits. Party with Santa, Full Hot Buffet, Coffee Dessert Cash Bar, Reservations Required. Call 516. 516-822-9612 516-822-9612 or mickeyb.com sponsored by Welcome to Formula Auto Wash where every day is a great day for a car wash Open 7 days a week from 8am to 5.30pm Sundays 8am to 4pm Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail centre. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. B&M Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We handle all parts, accessories, and do all repairs. We can custom build your bike for show or hot rod. We also do New York State inspections on all motorcycles. B&M Performance Cycles, come see us today.
Okay, uh, welcome back to the Casa Paranormal View. We have our first guest for our reading today. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Say your name? Italia. Italia. Yes. Italia and Anu? Anu, yes. Anu. Anu. I'll yes. never get used to it. Anu. 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 Yeah. Anu. <laughs> old. Anu. Old. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Anu. All right. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to do a reading. Yes. Um, explain what uh, you're going to do. You do a three-card reading tonight? I'm going to do a three-card reading, and it's going to be past, present, like what's happening now and future. Okay. All right. Very good. So um, go for it. Do your thing. Try to do it a little bit over the, over the cards. Yeah, that would be perfect. I'm going to ask you to cut the cards. Oh, that was a good cut. Cut. <laughs> Past. Present. Wow. And future. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't okay. say that. So um, in the past, in your recent past, you have to, you're, you're making a decision. You need to make a choice about something, choice about a certain lifestyle. So you're, you're looking at all your options and which one, which direction do I go in? And you've made your choice. And now what you're doing is everything that you've built up on and everything that you've worked for, you're just leaving behind and you're moving forward and you're moving into a direction and you don't know what's going to happen and you're not sure of the future but you know that it's time for you to move in a different a completely different direction and in the future at first things are not going to be very clear to you you're not going to be sure and it's going to take somewhat of an adjustment for you to just take everything in it's going to be a bit overwhelming. Mm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Was that the past, present, and future? Yes. Past, okay. present, and future. So uh, let's elaborate on this just a little bit, okay? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of ask you to do me one favor. Yes. Okay. Um, would you mind telling the audience how old you are? Um, you don't yes, have to. I had to think of it for a second. Uh, um, what did you say? You're going to tell people how old you are on TV? Is there something? I'm 50, by the way. Because she's a uh, girl. Oh, she's you're a girl. a girl. Oh, all right. So you're 25, right? I'm 29, yes. Okay, good. <laughs> what I'd like you to do, then I would like you to pick up the fourth card. Don't show her yet. Oh, okay. Pick up the fourth card from the top. One, two, three. And don't show her? Don't show her. No. Okay. This is, we're playing poker now. No. <laughs> um, what I want you to do is I want you to say, whether or not you feel with your abilities that you have, is that geared towards her? Yes. Does it? Mm -hmm. Okay, then tell her. Um, can you I can show, show the card? Her now, yes. Okay, I'm going to show everybody the card. Um, this is a great card for her because everything that all her obstacles and everything that she's been trying to work around, like, you know, when you have obstacles and you work through them. They're going to be. They're going to be past, and she's going to be exhausted. But the new dawn is coming on the horizon. The new sun is coming. Here you are, completely exhausted after everything that you're gone through. <laughs> she's looking. Is that me? Like, I don't here she is. Now I know. I know a little bit. And so. this is Athena. And Athena now says, "Okay, the past is over. You're going to move into your future, and it's a bright new future. And if you could see here." The sun is coming on the horizon. Why don't you this just show that face up so the camera above you can see it? Okay, there we go. <laughs> see it? Can you see Athena? Yeah. And it's a new dawn is coming, and it's beautiful. This is a great card. Can you just card. answer yeah, this question for me? Um, answer this question. Somebody, somebody um, in in your family or yourself is is, is has some sort of um, illness recently. My daughter just called me and told me that she's sick. Okay. Yeah. And I said, you'll, you'll be all right. Uh, just eat an orange and go to bed early. Okay. Yeah. No, it uh, just came across to me to, to mention that to yeah. you. Um, it's 
I, I sort of do that stuff yeah, at the sidelines. Mm. Uh, no, Cas oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. Readings by Chris, by the way. You can always go oh, on to CasperParanormalResearch.com really really yeah. and do a readings by Chris. Uh, yeah, I do readings all the time, and that's why we, we mesh together when she does oh, her readings. Okay. So do you understand, and can you relate to these readings? Oh, yes. I'm, I'm leaving and going to Florida. Oh, good. With uh, we'll the love with of my you. life, and <laughs> uh, I'm leaving everything behind, you know. Wow. So it's true, and it's scary, but we want to do it. Oh, no doubt. It's okay. an adventure, so it's, uh, it's a nice reading. I'm glad that I, I did it. Thank you. Okay, Thank so you. what we're going to yeah. do is we're going to cut to a quick commercial. We have a phone reading next. Everybody, please stand by for this exciting reading. Joe from Bug Busters of Long Island, he'll take care of your problem. That's great. Hi, I'm Vinny, owner of VMD Electric. Family owned and operated since 1996, serving all of Nassau and Suffolk County. You can call us anytime, night or day, at 631-669-6915 for all your residential and commercial needs. Here are some photos of our current projects. Okay, everybody, welcome to the Cast of Paranormal View. We have a phone ringing coming on. Are you ready for this phone ringing? Yes, I'm ready. All right, here we go. We're going to pick up the phone ringing. Hello, welcome to Cast of Paranormal View. Hi, how are you? I am doing well. Who are we speaking with? This is Luann. All right, Luann. Uh, Hi. We're, well, we're going to do a reading. I'd like you to say hello to Anu. Hello. Hi, Luann. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Uh, so what she's going to do is she's going to shuffle the cards, and what I want you to do while she's shuffling, I want you to tell her to stop. Okay. Anytime. Uh, stop now? Stop. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut the cards, Luann. Okay. And I'm going to do past, present, future for you, all right? Okay. Oh, boy, you're in trouble, Luann. 
Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, this is a good okay. reading. All right. All right. Um, Luann, in the past, I don't know if you had some sort of illness or something that you've had to deal with um, that you had to go to the doctor or something. Mm -hmm. but, but right now, it looks like you've got so much. Um, if the doctor told you maybe to exercise or take medicine, um, you've got so much energy and you're putting so much into this and like it's like an upsurge of just interest and you're, you know you're so focused and you're moving in a certain direction probably towards your health. Okay, and, that's true. <laughs> and the end of this reading is your health is really going to improve a lot. Um, you're going to start exercising and dieting and following the doctor's orders, and you're really going to start to feel good within yourself. So you're doing the right thing. You're That's taking <laughs> care of yourself. And this is a good reading. Your health is going to improve a lot, not just a little, a lot. And it's because of you taking care of yourself. Wow. Now, I have a question for you. Would you like one more card if I pick it? I would love it. <coughs> Okay, um, the, the reason that I say this is that I have the number seven coming to my mind. Does seven actually mean anything in your life? Um, it's like my favorite number. Okay, that would work. Uh, okay. Take the seventh card from the top, and let's see. Um, let's hope it's like not the death card or something. You know, we don't want that. <laughs> I'm hanging up at that. <laughs> <laughs> Can't okay. rush away from the seventh card. Uh, <laughs> Okay, do I? You can tell her. Do I show it? Yeah, sure. Okay, we got the nine of wands here. Now, um, I don't know if Luann is going on a journey or if she's moving towards, she has a goal and she's moving towards her goal. Um, what this card is, is like you're trying to go to a certain destination, but there's a little bit of obstacle. There's a little bit of things that you need to work through before you reach the last leg of the journey. And you know what this is. Too. I think it's a work journey. It's a, it's a work journey. There's a few more details that you need to just work on to reach your destination, but you will reach your destination because as you can see here, you, you, you're not that far. There's just a little bit left that you need to complete. It's the last leg of the journey before completion. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, quite interesting. Um, <laughs> do you understand this reading? Does this help you at all? It, 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 it does help me. I, I do believe um, I'm kind of in an upheaval right now at my work, um, mm. only because I've been there for a very long time, and we may be taken over by someone else. Okay. So I'm trying to get myself straightened out where I can maybe move along with the new company and hope I get to stay. So maybe that has something to do with it. Do you it's have almost in my mind right now? Do you have any questions for us? Um, I just, you know, I think you answered quite a few of them, and I think that's wonderful. And, and maybe if you could tell me if perhaps this could be the work issue that I'm talking about. Uh, we can actually go into that in depth. Uh, Luann, do I know you? You do. Okay. Is this uh, somebody who I'm going to be speaking to in the near future? Yes. We, okay. can, we can cover that. <laughs> yes, we can. We can absolutely discover. Uh, okay. I, it's like um, my phone is going crazy. Uh, just so anybody that's watching, if you're calling uh, my cell phone number, I would like you to be able to call 631-669-7999. Uh, and that is the studio number if you want a reading, not my cell phone number. I'm getting a ton of phone calls on my cell phone. Can we uh, do a reading? Through the chat, somebody's got, they can't talk, they're very hot. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, so Lauren, I just want to thank, thank you, you very much, and uh, I will speak with you, what, tomorrow night? Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you thank for calling you. in. That's to all of you. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye-bye. We have somebody, a friend of ours, Richard. Okay. Mr. Higgins, he would like a reading, but his throat is too sore to talk, so we're going to do it over the chat. And plus, he's got a really bad phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Higgins' so phone never might works. Might be better to do All it right, this way. So, um, 
How are we going to do this? You have to tell him to, you're going to shuffle and he's going to say stop? Yep. Yeah, I'm shuffling so, for right. Richard Higgins. Yes, Richard Higgins, do me a favor and say stop whenever you feel like it. Stop. Oof. That was a hard hit. That was a hard hit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Higgins, you're doomed. No. Okay. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I don't know what I'm moving, okay. but I'm moving. What is that big crossbones in the middle over there? I don't know what that is. <laughs> okay. Okay, Richard Higgins. Um, in the past, you've got some recognition. Something that you've done has given you some sort of public acclaim um, with your family, with your coworkers, with your friends, where you've achieved something and everybody has come out to celebrate you and said okay good job we could verify that and say yes we, yeah absolutely yeah mm -hmm. um okay so what's happening now is can I, I i just need to interrupt you for a minute the lights are going off over there and everything is like really we're all haunted and oh good the li my, my niece uh, tell, is flipping flip switch. switches no. <laughs> That's my niece. All right, so mm -hmm. Mr. Higgins has, what, a couple months left? No. And, uh, no. Oh, I didn't know. And right, right now, um, what's happening around him is, well. he's a, is he a, he's a father or something is happening with his father where he feels like he has a lot of responsibilities and he's a good father and he's taking care of things. Either it's with him or it's, or it's about his father where he needs to be taking care of someone or someone needs to be taking care of him right now. And because of that, that is going to create some changes and a bit of obstacles right now towards his goal where some changes are occurring that he's going to need to deal with. Okay. Mr. Higgins, uh, he, I hope... He has no kids. Okay. So... What about his that father? That he knows of. That he knows of. <laughs> Richard, anything to do with your father? Can he answer us? While he's answering that, I, he's I, am, very healthy. I am going to he's mention to Mr. Higgins, uh, by the way, Mr. Higgins is part of Bellwood Paranormal, a very close friend of Casper Paranormal. Uh, oh. He has done uh, a show with us before. He is very, uh, very, very good in paranormal investigating, and he is also... <laughs> I think one of the presidents or one of the uh, whatever, Angelo, help me out here. Really? And, yeah, of the uh, United Paranormal International. Okay. Oh, uh, wow. So, yeah, he's very much into it, and I, I, I think everybody should go and visit Bellwood Paranormal on Facebook. Is, is Richard a Pisces, uh, Cancer, or Scorpio male? I know he's crazy, so I really don't know <laughs> which one he is. He might be a Pisces is. if he's no. crazy. Oh. Neither. Neither. Okay. Neither, neither, neither. Yeah. But Nope. Um, I do feel that Richard Leo. has um, oh, so I. has come across um, some obstacles in his life, like he had said. But I do see things uh, positive for Richard in, in, in the near future. Good. Uh, very positive, Richard. So stay tuned for that. Right. We all have obstacles. Oh, yes. All absolutely. the time. Every day. Richard, thank you so much for uh, wanting a reading. We have a phone reading now that's coming our way. Uh, so if you can shuffle your cards, we're going to answer the phone, see who's on. Hello, welcome to Casper Paranormal View. Thank you. And who am I speaking with? Alice. Oh, Alice. Hello, Alice. Do, Hello. I, know, do I know you, Alice? Um, no, we've never met. Oh, okay, very okay. good. Uh, wh uh, where are you from, Alice? Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. Wow, very good. Okay. Wow. Uh, so you, I'm, call, I'm assuming that you're calling for a reading today? Yes, I am. All right. Um, so you can take over. Go ahead. All right. So Alice is going to tell me when to stop shuffling. Yeah, Alice, right? tell her when to stop shuffling, okay? Okay. Are you watching the show while you're talking to us? I am. I just lowered the volume. Very good. Okay. Stop. Yeah, you're Ooh, a, she, a little bit of a delay. Stop. No, I won't bang on the table like I did. <laughs> <laughs> she can stop. Yeah, she's stopping. It's now. a seven-second delay, so you're going to... You're going to see that. Okay, good. All right, Alice. Past, present, future. Okay, Alice. Um, 
I see uh, either a breakup or some sort of separation, something coming apart. Um, okay. It could be like an argument with someone that you're disagreeing, or it could be just a total split where you're not talking anymore. Does it, does it have to be a, uh, that, or could it be part of um, uh, like a, an automobile or something? Uh, Breaking that, down? Yeah. No, hmm. not with this. I, I don't I, I just... Is I, that what you're picking up, I, though? I'm picking, picking up, up something that's breaking uh, as... Apart. Apart, uh, not as a family, but right. as a mechanical device of some sort, or, or a house, or, or a car. Okay. That's what I feel. That's what I'm getting. That's the energy I get from you. Um, okay. I don't know if... I like that better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know if that makes sense. I don't know if you have a new car, old car, medium-sized car. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. But I have a sense that um, there is going to be a problem with your automobile. Uh, I would suggest you driving safe. But you continue with your reading. Okay. Thank you. Um, all right. So a sort of like it doesn't have to even be a breakup. It could just be like a disagreement where two people don't agree on the same issue, which happens all the time. Every day. Right. Um, and because of this, this was in the past, though. Like, right now, I see some confusion. Like, you don't know, was it my fault? Was it their fault? What do I do? You know, a bit of confusion. And in the future, what's going to happen is you're going to have a choice. It's going to be up to you to make the decision, which way is this going to go? It's going to be totally up to you whether you want to resolve it or not, or all the choices are up to you to make that choice. Okay. Alice, do you understand any of this? Yeah, actually, I do. <laughs> okay, Alice, um, I'm going to ask you, uh, are you married, Alice? No. Okay. Um, I, I, I really... Do you, do you have a new car, Alice? Yes, I do. Okay. Um... I would love for you. I would love for you to call me. Um, okay. And you can dial six three one eight three eight two one six six over the next few days. Mm-hmm. I am going to give you a free, a free, fifteen minute reading. I want to talk to you about something. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Please uh, write that down, or you can always watch this show over again and get the telephone number. I need to talk to you about something. Okay, 838-2166. 838-2166, uh, area code 631. Okay, thank you. But you're quite welcome. Thank you for calling in, and we'll talk to you soon, thank okay? Thank you, Alice. Okay. Thanks, Anu. All right, bye now. Um, do me a favor. Tell us your number so everybody My can... number is 631-219-2442. Oh, that's easy to remember. For a reading. Uh -huh. I chose it numerologically. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I, my my AT&T guy I, chose mine. I don't I'm know. getting I number nervous. They say, this is the I number that you're taking and you're done. Get out of my store. That's I'm, I made, they made them give me a choice of three, and I wow. liked that one the better. I don't know if they do that anymore. Um, okay, so... Um, Doing commercial? Commercial. Oh, uh, is that what you said? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I got people telling me what to do. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do is we'll be right back. We're going to go to a commercial, and we do have, I believe, another phone reading. So Good. stay tuned. This is fun. I'm Welcome to Formula Auto Wash, where every day is a great day for a car wash. Open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Sundays, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Detailing packages for every budget, starting out at $29.99. 100% hand wash and detail center. Hogs hair and microfiber brushes and mitts. Proudly using Ecolab Blue Coral soaps and waxes. 
Formula Auto Wash has served the community for over 30 years. See any discounts all day, every day. Ladies Day Wednesday, $3 off any wash. Early bird discount Monday through Thursday till 9.30 a.m. Check out our website, formulaautowash.com. What is Grand Prix Motorsports? It's a full-service motorsport performance and service shop. It's West Coast custom style, East Coast pricing, old-school customer service, custom-built bikes, all-out performance upgrades, and free towing, too. Grand Prix Motorsports is automobile, motorcycle, jet ski, and ATV, performance, service, and repair. It's online at GrandPrixMS.com. Grand Prix Motorsports, Long Island Avenue, Deer Park. Okay, welcome back to Casper Paranormal View. We have been doing readings with uh, Anu. Uh, she's new to Casper here. Um, and she has been pretty spot on with all the readings. Very good. Everybody's been liking it. Yeah. Good uh, we got a lot of Very phone good. calls. We did some personal readings here. Uh, we have another phone call that's on the phone. Uh, a return guest uh, that has called. So we're going to definitely pick her up uh, and here we go. Wish us luck on this one. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to Casper Paranormal View. Hi, Chris. Anna. Hi. <laughs> Joanna. You didn't tell me you were going on the show. I invite Anna. She's one of my friends for like 30, 40 years. We went to high school together. I tell her about your show. And I, I put you guys on, and there she is. Anna, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> giving readings. First of all, she told me she was 26. So how you can uh, be yeah. friends for, for 40 well, years, I have no idea. Well, like, you know, we're, we're zombies. Yeah, so no doubt. We're, we're zombies, so, you know, we, we don't age. I That's see. That's right. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's right. So like you you, you want a reading? Um, so would you like a reading from uh, Anu? Sure. Um, I'll have a reading. Okay. I, um, oh, should I? I she's don't know. shuffling. Do she's shuffling the cards right now. Uh, tell her when to stop. Just tell her when to stop. What? Just say oh, when to stop. Yeah. Ready. Go. Two, three, stop. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a big one. I feel it. Uh oh. 
<laughs> oh my God! Don't be scared, Joanne. She dealt the full I'm house. I'm not up. afraid. I don't even get afraid when ghosts come and bother me. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's for another show, Joanne. What? That's another show. I know. You know. We'll do it next time. Okay, jo okay. Joanne. Um, I, it looks like you've got a lot of paperwork to do. Um, like I don't know if, you, if it's either a court case or just. A lot of paperwork, a lot of like reorganizing your affairs. This is in the past, and it's moving out, and you're going to get a lot of clarity about what you're dealing with in terms of your paperwork, or like if things have been unclear, because Mercury was retrograde for three weeks. Mercury, Mercury is now moved direct, so like. Anything that was not clear is going to become very apparent, and you're going to exactly know the score. Like the sun has come out, and you're going to know exactly what you're dealing with. You know, I felt like thinking of singing the song right now. Right? I know. Yeah, the, the sun will come no. out. Yeah, you know. Annie. Annie. Yeah. She, she leaves me open for these. I know. <laughs> um, this, 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 is, this is the present where you now know what's on the table. And what's coming in is some quick news, some sudden news. If you've been waiting to hear from someone or something, if something's been on hold, it's, gonna, it's coming in. It's going to come in quick. It's going to come soon. I say within the next week, you're going to hear from something that uh, maybe that's, you've been Maybe that's us, Joanne. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I hope so. But I've got something else working on, I'm working on, so that. Yeah. And it got postponed a few times, and so I'm hoping that, uh, you know, it should be coming up soon. It's yeah. going to come up soon. It's going to come in quick. When you, when you, you're not going to expect it because it's, it's moving fast. You see this? It's riding in fast. This is like a message. It's news coming in quick. Okay. All right. Okay. I hope it's good news. And It better be good news. I hope so, too. <laughs> All right, so that's the reading, Joanne. Call back next week. We'll be here. Okay, you guys. Bye, Bye Joanne. Bye, Joe. Have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Okay, perfect. Uh, that was great. Uh, we uh, There's a couple things that I want to do first. I want to bring in the wonderful um, soundboard guy. Um, he's, uh, he's a little strange, but we're going to go into a commercial break real quick. And we'll be right back with our wonderful soundboard guy for our reading. Stand by. Hi, this is Mickey B, the Prince of Rock and Roll. Join me for my rock and solid gold holiday dance party, Saturday, December 1st, 8 p.m. at the Belmore Columbus Club, 2333 Belmore Avenue in Belmore, with the rock and sounds of the 50s through the 80s, starring the Accords. The Fabuliers, third edition, and DJ A's playing all your rocking hits. Party with Santa, Full Hot Buffet, Coffee Dessert Cash Bar, Reservations Required. Call 516-822-9612, 516-822-9612, or MickeyB.com. Sponsored by... B&M Performance Cycles, 439 South Main Street, Messina, New York. We handle all parts, accessories, and do all repairs. We can custom build your bike for show or hot rod. We also do New York State inspections on all motorcycles. B&M Performance Cycles, come see us today.
Okay, welcome back to Casper Paranormal View. We have uh, the uh, the wonderful sound guy sitting right in front of us here. Tom, how are you tonight? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm just wonderful. Thank you for all your hard work behind the scenes, by the way. Uh, yes. Tom is whenever the sound messes up, it's Tom's fault. Okay, yeah. when anything anything messes up, either here or at your home or anywhere else, it's Tom's fault. Until he okay. blames somebody else. Right. <laughs> you know, Tom is the fall guy, uh, just to let everybody know. But Tom is to be read today because we need to know if Tom has a future. All right? So um, <laughs> go ahead and cut the cards. Okay. I'm going to shuffle the cards. That's what I mean. Now, if he starts singing, the sun will come out tomorrow. I'm leaving. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Tom's quite the crooner. That's Annie. <laughs> You tell me when you want me to stop, Tom. Just say to stop. We don't have all night here. We, we stop. Only have, there you go. <laughs> all right, I'm going to give you the cards, and I want you to sh to cut the cards. Sh I, wait, wait. You get, get past that, uh, oh, right here. Yes. Very good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Thank you for saying you're welcome. All right. So I'm going to do past. Oh, goodness. Present. Oh, there's a picture of the hotel. And future. It's interesting. All right. Um, what are you doing on a horse? <laughs> um, in the past, or just passing out, uh, your hard worker. Just passing out is more no. like it, yes. <laughs> he's That's not, Tom. He's not passing out. <laughs> just his recent past that is now passing. Oh, I get it. <laughs> I thought Tom was passing out, you know. Um, I know he knows my You're son. a hard worker. You've been, you do, you've been working really hard. You've been doing a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. How about you? That's a does. lot of work. A yeah. lot of work? Yeah. Where, yeah. <laughs> guys. Um, Where is this that you're doing the work? I don't understand. Um, and so oh. this is passing. This is the recent pass. But now, what's happening now is you have enough within you to create whatever you want to do. You have all the elements. So you can like move ahead in whatever direction that you want to do because you have everything that you need in order to complete whatever direction you want to go in. You like whether it's money, car, phone, whatever you want to do, you have that now. So it's like as above, so below. Like you have fire, air, water, earth. Right, can, it's called a achieve. bong. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's what he has. That's what, he's got the fire, he's got the water, he's got the glass tube. Yeah, the whole thing. That's what he has. <laughs> and, <laughs> I like where this is going, though. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. No oh, my doubt. God. And uh, in the future, um, it, you know, talking about bongs, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, you have to watch out for not being too like pie in the sky, too Hi. airy. Like, make sure you know what you really want to do. Not too dreamy, not too fantasy. You want to kind of like live in reality a bit. You know, just you have to be more solid, more grounded with your goals and everything to be more realistic. You get that, Tom? Okay. You yes. And that? it also could mean. That you have a crush on someone that lives like far away, like not in West Islip, like maybe upstate or in the city that you know, like you have like a, a lover that's in another place <gasps> far away. Long distance lover. Mm. Long Listen, distance lover. Uh, by the way, yeah. if your girlfriend's watching this, uh, no, he doesn't she's love probably, anyone. She's probably else. having a good time watching this. <laughs> um, yeah, you know. Uh, Tom, I shut up I, now. Don't say anything. Nothing about lovers. I can see where uh, I'm not talking about what you what you just what you just said. I just ignored uh, what you just said. But um, <laughs> before, with the uh, the goals and like the the grounding, that you know that all makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, you know. You have all the resources right now to do yeah. to move in any direction that you that you want to go in. But make sure that the direction that you're going to go in is you. It's a realistic direction because if you look at this horse. Here he is. He's got his little cup. He's moving forward, but he's not paying attention. He's stepping right into the into this uh, the horse manure. Into, into the into, this into the little pond. So you have to make okay. sure that you're focused. That you have a good focus. All right. Okay. Did this yeah. reading help you at all, Tom? Um, yeah. At least I have. I have to say it. Does. I I really like the beginning. The beginning was great. 
really feel in the beginning. All right. Rest All right. of it was cool. It was okay. Well, but uh, it went a little downhill with the girl with the no, uh, the girl not... thing. Oh, the but, <laughs> went downhill with the girl know. thing. Um, yeah, this is great. You know, this is uh, first time for me, so okay. I'm just filling in some some good space here. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you very thank much. You. We'll be. Uh, what we're gonna do is just gonna run to a quick commercial because we got a two 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 minute reading. We want to do it because then we want to talk about the bracelets and everything like that. Okay. We're gonna be right back. Okay. Great. All right. Thanks, Tom. This is Angelo from Casper Paranormal. Today we're sitting in with Chris doing a reading. Let's see what's going on. Okay. I I've never had a reading like this before, so just bear with me. I, I'm, I'm seeing bugs. Bugs? I thought you were a psychic medium. I know, that's what's confusing. Uh, hold on. Do you want the good news or the bad news? I'll take the bad news. I think these are spirit bugs. Spirit bugs? I've never heard of spirit bugs. <laughs> that's just it. Do you want the good news? Yes. I know Joe from Bug Busters of Long Island. He'll take care of your problem. That's great. Hi, welcome back to Casual Paranormal View. We have our last guest for a reading today. Uh, uh, state your name again. Christine Larkin. Christine, okay, Christine. Uh, Anu, you're going to read Christine. Let's make it quick. We have uh, a two minute reading. Tell her about her entire life in two minutes. Ready? Okay, Chris, I'm gonna shuffle the cards. I just want you to tell me when you want me to stop shuffling. Okay. Okay, ready, stop. Okay, good. Now, here we go, we're gonna move now. <laughs> She's gonna tell me when. Uh, now, stop. I'm going to give these cards to you. Okay. You just please cut the cards. Just like that? Cut, yep, that's perfect. Let's okay. do them on the We're other gonna side. We're going to do right past, here. present, oh, and future. Okay. Um, in the past, it looks like you've come to a major stage, stage of completion. Like everything just has come full circle for you. And it's like the past and the beginning have all met up with each other, and you've really had a nice, uh, you've probably had a nice holidays, and everything's come together very well for you. Um, right now, you're in love. You're having a really nice relationship. This is the present. You're having a beautiful relationship. You met someone. It's the beginning. It's not like, you know, law, it's like not into marriage or anything, but like it's a nice romance going on right now. And I see in the future when you're looking to study something or to move ahead, maybe to learn something new, to take classes, or to move in a whole new direction. Does any Sounds of this make good. sense to you? Yes. Very good. Yeah. If you would like further readings. It's very readings, accurate. How do we get in touch with you again? My number is 631-219-2442. And my name is Anu. And Christine, thank you very much for coming on thank for you. our show. Thank Sorry you. that it was thank so you, quick. Thank you. Hey, it, it helps to live locally uh, now, right? Stay seated. You can relax. Uh, what I want to do is I want to stress a couple of things. You can actually uh, get a reading by myself. Uh, by Readings by Chris, um, 631-838-2166. I do Skype readings. I do phone readings. I do in-person readings in my haunted apartment. <laughs> and um, I also 
You can reach us through casperparanormalresearch.com and you can also purchase all our merchandise on uh, our Facebook page. You can see it, uh, all our stuff on Casper Merchandise. Casper page. Merchandise, right. Okay. You can go on our Facebook page, like us, follow us. We want, Lots of information we want you to hit the like button. We want you to hit the like button on our Facebook page, okay? We have a contest going right now. The first uh, person, we, ju we just made a group, all right? The first person to add the most people to the group by December 15th. By December 15th, if you add the most people to our Casper Paranormal group, we'll win one of these hematite bracelets, okay? Right here. I wear one every day. Angelo wears it, okay? This is a magnetic bracelet. I will show you one of the magnetic rings here. As you can see, these are all magnetic. Okay, you will win one of these. All you have to do is go to the Casper Paranormal group and add all your friends to that group. Look at this, I'm moving this and it's moving it's away. <laughs> um, and if you don't want to win it and you can't wait, you want to purchase it, go to our merchandise page. Right, and they're right here. These are absolutely wonderful things. I wear them all the time, all over here. But I wanted to thank Anu for coming on. Christine, uh, thanks for coming on uh, as our last guest. It was a pleasure. All our call-ins, thank, thank you very much for participating. All the people that we couldn't get to, we apologize, but we will be doing readings next week. Thank you for watching Madhouse. Thank you for watching Casper Paranormal. Watch all the shows on Madhouse TV. We'll see you next week. Have a good night.